if you were here with us four weeks ago, we started with fractions. Um, we moved on to uh, percents and uh, <clears throat> we went on to ratios and proportions that we did last week. And now this week we're going to do um, basic shape measurement. So just one point of clarification, on the GED test, they refer to this area on the test as geometry, okay? Now the second thing here, the shape we're gonna come across is the triangle. Uh, let's see, get a better triangle here. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we got this triangle here. And so we'll say uh, this side is seven. Oh, then the height we'll say is eight. And then the base we'll say is 16. So this side is seven. The height of the triangle is eight and the base of the triangle is 16. Okay. And so to find the area of a triangle, the formula is one half base times height. Now remember, you don't have to memorize these formulas because they give them to you on the GED test, so you have them, okay? Um, so then all you're doing is substituting the values. So the base is 16, the height is eight. So now we're going to substitute those numbers. Get my calculator out here. So one half times eight times 16 equals 64. So the area of that triangle is going to be 64. But now what about the perimeter of the triangle? So the perimeter is going to be a side plus a side plus a side. So the perimeter is side one plus side two plus side three. And so in this case, we have this side is 16 plus this side is seven. And if this side is seven, what's this side? Seven. 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 So now we can just say seven plus seven plus 16. So 14 plus 16 is 30. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they'll ask you about the area of a triangle. Sometimes they'll ask you about the perimeter of a triangle. Um, then the other comment is the circle. 